Okay, so now let's see about uh, spring potential energy. So we use PES, right? Um, so you must be familiar with the nerve gun or uh, slingshots. Right, so if it is a nerve gun, what do, what do we do? We uh, compress the spring, right, and there is a, a bullet or something like that. So when you release, the bullet will move very fast. So by compressing, you are doing a work on the spring, right, and the work will be stored as a spring potential energy. So potential energy means a stored energy. So here by compressing that you stored a potential energy. So when you release this potential energy converted into kinetic energy. Right? If you take a slingshot actually you are stretching that and and there must be a, a stone or something and then you release. So here by stretching you are storing energy, right? So all these come into the category of springs. So in the springs, by compressing or by stretching, you can store the energy, which is going to be uh, stored as a spring potential energy. Right, so um, um, I don't think you need this example, might be so you are here, you are compressing, right? So, when the spring is uh, in an unstretchable position, we are not compressing and we are not stretching it, right? So, it's like leave like it is. So, that position is called non stretchable or equilibrium position right so let me draw a spring so which is in a horizontal surface and we neglect uh, the friction right air friction or any friction so if I draw the spring and this spring is connected to a block right so now this is an unstretchable position or oh, I could write as equilibrium position Okay, so let's take uh, this position as our x is equal 0, right? Now what you do, you stretch the strain, uh, spring, right, through a distance x, okay? So now while you are stretching, you have that uh, experience um, so while you are stretching there is a force which is called spring force will try to uh, take this block again to the equilibrium position right so this is the direction of the force and x so I can write the force is in the positive x direction the displacement is sorry the force is in the negative x direction and the displacement is in the positive x direction right now let's see you are compressing the spring okay so through a distance x so while you are compressing the spring force here will act in this direction to restore this block again here or the restore the system again to equilibrium position so this is your fs so i can write your Fs, the spring force in the positive direction and your displacement is in negative direction. So all the time the spring force and X are in opposite direction and to make an equation you need a constant. So this is called Hooke's law. Um, Right, so which gives you 
what is the, the, the negative sign actually means the x and the displacement and the spring force always in opposite direction. So the k, uh, we call it as spring constant or sometimes uh, force constant. So what does that mean? So you know in some springs you can compress them easily. Some of them it's very hard to compress. So if you take another spring like it's very hard to stretch. That means the K is higher to the springs which are very hard to stretch. So we'll see some example in the class on Friday. So this is about the spring uh, force but what we need in this section is the spring potential energy, right? So we are going to talk about the spring potential energy which is given by the equation of this one. So you know the K is the spring constant. So it is constant for a material. So usually it would be given. And X is the displacement from the equilibrium position or x is equal to 0. So you can see if um, this is the equilibrium position and you stretch it through a distance x. So here you can write its potential energy as 1 half kx squared. Suppose if it is uh, compressed through a distance x. So now I have to write like this. But since this is squared, whether it is negative x direction or a positive x direction, it is just x squared. So you don't need to worry about. So you have to put, okay, through what distance it compressed or stretched. The other thing, so the you have spring potential energy only when the spring is stretched or compressed because when it is at equilibrium like that your x is zero right and another thing by stretching or compressing only you can store the potential energy right so uh, this is uh, spring potential energy so make sure this equation seems like kinetic energy which is one half mv squared but always remember this is potential energy of the spring. So um, the summary so of the previous video and this video potential energy due to gravity is mgy so what is this y? You have to take zero potential level and if your object is in height y then its potential energy due to gravity is mgy right and uh, potential energy due to spring is one half k x squared right and you should know that the potential energy exists when it is stretched or um, compressed right so now let's see the conservation of energy in my next video so for now this ends